We all know by now that every object has mass, much like this ball, and it was an accepted fact that mass was an inherent property of every object. However, when we come to the world of particle physics, we observe that some particles have mass, some have a lot of mass, and some none at all. So now begs the question, what does it mean for something to have mass? To understand this, we must first understand why this question even had to be answered. Couldn't we live without knowing what exactly gave other particles mass? Well, particle physicists definitely couldn't due to the existence of the standard model of particle physics, which is a theory that unifies all known matter and fundamental forces of nature with the only missing element being mass and where it truly came from. It was in 1964 when physicists Peter Higgs and Francois Engler answered this very question in their paper. Their hypothesis was that there was a field known as the Higgs field that surrounded all of space. Think of it as a really viscous liquid. If a very streamlined object is to pass through this liquid, it would pass without any hindrance, unimpeded. However, if a very massive, unaerodynamic object is now to pass through this liquid, it would slow down in the process, also being the reason why no object with mass can ever travel at the speed of light. This drop in speed and this interaction with this liquid would translate to mass. So now that we have an intuition of the Higgs field, I can conclusively say that particles that do not interact with the field have no mass, just like the photon. And all of the particles that do, which are basically all the other known particles, have mass due to their interaction with the field. It is also worth noting that particles that interact more with the field have more mass. For example, the top quark, which is the heaviest known particle, interacts much more with the field as compared to the electron, which is much less massive in comparison. So what was the hype about in 2012 when they had discovered the Higgs boson in the Large Hadron Collider? And what's the difference between that and the Higgs field? The Higgs boson was conclusive proof that the Higgs field existed. The Higgs boson was a particle, while the Higgs field was a field that surrounded all of space. When the Higgs boson was first discovered, it was thought of to be the particle that gave all of the particles mass. The God particle, they called it. But as I just explained, it is the interaction with the field that causes mass. Then what is the Higgs boson for? The Higgs boson is an excitation in the Higgs field, much like the electron is the excitation in the electric field. And if the Higgs field existed, and if enough energy was supplied to this Higgs field, much like they do in particle accelerators, many Higgs bosons would be produced, which in case was what happened, which landed Peter Higgs and Francois Engler the Nobel Prize in 2013 reshaped our knowledge of quantum physics and finally completed the standard model.